it's more likely is they'll take things on board. Longer term learning, as I say, make it chaotic. You have to make decisions on the hoof. It'll help their growth, but it'll be longer term. So I, I try and go with defence. I want defence to win. I'm a defence coach, for job, so I want them to win. Okay? So at any time, I'm trying to let them win. I need to stress them, because otherwise they're not prepared for a game. But I want them to believe what I'm coaching is going to work. Okay, so I would start with a one-phase thing like this when I first start with a group. I then might have everyone starting a little bit tight, and then I'm going to try and get the width back quickly. I might start with a fold. I might start with a slightly in front of the ball already. The wings, the wings off. Somebody's on the floor. I just create something slightly different across any sort of rugby aspect of coaching. Find something that works for you, and then just dress it up different. I've made many mistakes of coaching. Um, and often it's because I try to over-entertain. You know, I try to do something too too out there all the time. We're just educate them, make things different, you'll stimulate them that way. Uh, and challenge them as well, of course. Um, just one more thing in regards to the tackle. I'm, uh, the tackle say it's happened here. There's a guy on the outside. I want this person to try and get his whip. I don't want him to stay for the pick and go, if you like, or that first defender. I want him to get out here as quickly as possible. And I'll create space for people to fold into rather than wait and allow those two people to fold. The rules are the, the strengths or weaknesses of that is. So, you saying sort of move away from the post? Correct. So, whatever you call it, is a first defender, second defender, yeah. or pillar, or whatever you are. Your first defender, second defender. Tackles happen, I stay here. I actually want this person, when the tackles happen, to move and allow the fold to come on the inside as opposed to staying here and the fold fill that spot in the next spot. If the fold is late. I can do, I can do. I can do. The, the thing for me is this is your foundation of your defence, your first three defenders. I might be your fourth defender as well in terms of you know, who you're playing against, Harlequins, Attack a Lot through Channel 1, so you might split the 10. And you know, defence at uh, different levels, your coach obviously the attack isn't as good, so you can afford to be a little bit tighter. The idea is though that these two here, if I'm stand there, they now have to work past him, past him, to here to get set. So I'm actually just creating space. So create space, people will work into it. If there's no space there on the far side, it looks like a problem solved. No one's working. So it means I can just sit and park up and get set ready to go. But if you create space, people fall into it. I'll try and coach that. Uh, if you've got here for